Hey guys, it's Corabelle. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I make videos about travel, my life, and engineering sometimes. Trying to make more of those. In this video, we're going to talk about the top three skills that will put you over, that will push you over the top to get that dream job that you want or just be an overall better engineer. Okay, so first things first. Maintain a 3.0 GPA. This is a given. Um, so your GPA, I, I would like to say that your GPA doesn't matter. I mean, as much, but it really does. And employers see that. So your GPA, think of your GPA as a reflection of how well you love your engineering classes, how well you're learning the material, and overall, like your overall performance. So that, that's a given. That's not a tip. <laughs> you have to maintain a 3.0 GPA and above. Um, also because I had a friend that didn't have a 3.0 GPA. Um, he had an interview and then unfortunately he didn't get it because they said his GPA was too low. It didn't meet the qualifications. So definitely um, keep that into consideration. Your grades do matter. Okay, tip number one, let's get into it. Um, get a certification even if you don't have the number of years required for that certification. I say this because um, certifications definitely set you over the bar. It shows that you are qualified for this skill set that this company needs. And even if you don't have the number of experience, I mean, number of years of experience, it just shows your employer or your potential employer that you care and you are excited and you're willing to do whatever it takes to get the education needed for that skill set. Definitely, I've had a recruiter suggest that and I agree. Some certifications that they offered in my university was the Lean Green Belt, Six Sigma, um, SolidWorks certification, and also they had an FE course. If you have your FE, like you may not need it, it also puts you over the edge it just shows it proves that you have your fundamentals down also it'll just help you with the negotiation factor like you can use your certification to negotiate more because I got my lean green belt certification in university and I think that helped me um, get a higher salary than my peers at, at the start so I definitely recommend that tip okay tip number two I think this is important. Not many video, not many people emphasize this, but join a club or a group, an organization that you are passionate about, um, and then become a leader in that club, um, or join the exec board, or start an initiative. It could be a fundraiser. It could be an improvement process. It could be a boot camp, a program. And I say this because, again, it shows that you care about a cause and you have project management skills and people skills. It will make you an overall well-rounded person. Oh my God, it's so hot. I'm gonna talk about myself. I was very passionate about community service and giving back. So I joined Rotaract and I became a part of the exec board. A program that we started, that we co-started was the, uh, was a STEM program within the local community. It was, I can't take all the credit for it, it was me and my, um, my peers that did this and it was, STEM education is a very important topic to me so it really came from the heart. So whatever you do, make sure that it comes from a good place and you're not doing it just for your, your own benefit. Number three. I feel like a lot of people are gonna hate me for this, but I have to say it. Um, network, and not just network, meaningfully network. I think there's a difference. Yes, meeting people is important, but also maintaining those connections and actually caring about people. Like a lot of the time, engineers were very focused on the technical and technical skill set and logical stuff, but we don't talk about like the human factor to it. Um, so when I say meaningfully network, I mean actually genuinely caring about the other person. I, 
um, like making small talk. Small talk isn't so small, by the way. Small talk goes a long way because it establishes a connection. Like you find something to talk about. It could be, oh, where you're from, um, what sports you're into. You could ask them how their day is, like recruiters at career fairs. Like establish a genuine connection and also crack a joke. Like you don't need to be so serious all the time. Through my meaningful connections that I made, I have kept in contact with some of the recruiters that tried to recruit me. And I actually had a couple recruiters invite me out to dinner professionally. Keyword on professionally. Um, and they offered me a co-op position. I don't want to sound like I'm perfect, by the way. I'm really not. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out how to be myself and be comfortable talking at career fairs because I've had an experience where I just talked a lot. Um, I've had an elevator pitch, I perfected it, I practiced in front of the mirror, and then I wasn't connecting. I wasn't connecting with the recruiter. Um, it's important to, yes, have an elevator pitch, be ready to say, list your experience. Um, but make sure you are coming from a good place in your heart, as cheesy as that sounds. And yeah, just be good to people around you because you'll never know where you'll cross paths again. And I want to emphasize that it's important to understand how or know how you're making others feel. Um, I don't think this is talked about enough. If you make someone feel good, if you make someone laugh, if you connect with someone, then they'll, more, they'll be more likely to remember you more. And I know it's easier said than done. Um, a lot of times it just comes from being yourself. You guys. And I have one last thing, bonus tip. Um, this is a really good one. So if you are really good at a skill, like it could be CAD or machining, programming, then take a class your first semester in college and establish a connection with that professor, get to know them, and then at the end of the semester, if you do good, if you exceed your professor's expectations, ask if you can be a TA. One thing, you'll get money, you'll get paid, and you're helping people, and employers love to see that. And if you can do this your freshman year, your sophomore year, um, even better. If, if it's later on in college, that's fine too but it will look good to employers and make, hopefully it'll make you feel good if you like teaching and helping people. That's it, those are my tips. I hope this video was helpful and take care guys. Um, if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. It'll help my channel so much and manifest good things. Take care of each other and aloha.